Welcome back and today we're doing a bit of a kitchen reset. So it has been a while since I've really taken some time to deep dive and really clean this kitchen. And so I'm just starting out by looking at my meal plan because as I'm cleaning the kitchen, obviously I'm gonna be looking to see if there's some things that we need to stock up on. So I am just taking a bit of inventory. I'm going through and just writing down a plan <laughs> for what I'm going to focus on while I am doing this a refresh of the kitchen and I really just wanted to do this because the new year is coming up and it's just really important to me to kind of reset this space whenever I'm doing a like deep clean I always start with the dishes and the dishwasher just because usually as I am cleaning I end up putting things back in the dishwasher so it's just great for me to have it already empty so that I can get it all dirty all over again I was kind of like thinking to myself like am I biting off more than I can chew because there is a lot of stuff in this kitchen and I don't know about you but it just seems so easy nowadays to just have so much stuff and not really even realize that you're just constantly buying things that maybe you don't need maybe you don't even like and I'm just like what is going on here and I've been trying to practice being a little bit more intentional and mindful about you know just making sure that I'm not buying a bunch of random stuff we made a, a mess somehow I don't even know what happened but we had to stop and kind of do this but I've been trying to be way more intentional about just like what we're buying and it's one of the reasons why like I started really being intentional about like having a grocery list and really taking the time to do inventory of what we already have in the house before we buy more things take forever for me to wipe off these shelves but once it was done I was able to then go through all the food to kind of consolidate some things so I could have less boxes but also to really just figure out what is actually good that we can eat what's expired and what we're going to donate so we had quite a bit of things that we were able to donate um, but we really did prioritize you know consolidating the boxes and just figuring out okay what all do we have here and let's put this back in this pantry with a little bit of structure i don't know about you but i didn't grow up with a lot of structure around the pantry it was more so a, a situation of hey the old stuff goes in the front so that we can use it first and after that it really is a free-for-all so creating my own system or structure around this pantry was definitely a bit of an ordeal but it was also very haphazard so I don't know how we're gonna deal with this whole pantry situation. Hopefully I figure it out at some point, but for right now, we're just gonna let it do what it do and it's okay. Was going through all the things that were in the pantry i realized that we had a bunch of unopened supplies this can opener is so bomb it's so nice and i'm like wow this whole time i've been like plugging it out with my old can opener and i had a whole like brand new one that was really good quality but this just goes like to show and remind me like i really do buy a lot of stuff and don't know what i'm buying like literally i didn't even pull out all the pots and pans that were inside of this box and i'm just like man girl you need to get a system in place a system in place just to know what we have I feel like doing this reset is really gonna help me just start like with a clean slate and be able to say okay this is what we have going forward and this is just what it's gonna be right we can we can manage with this and it'll help me be even more intentional about what we end up buying and when we need to buy things So at first I was trying to come up with an order for how I was going to reset and deep clean this kitchen, but then I just was like, let me just jump in and just 
start anywhere and I realized that my husband actually had already gone through all of our spices and stuff which was really nice so instead of me having to reset this whole area all I did was just wipe everything down get the cupboard cleaned and I had a whole section of the kitchen now officially done so we have the pantry and the seasoning area done which was really great just to have that already done and me not have to worry about it So I'm about to clean the microwave and what I do is I mix a little bit of apple cider vinegar with some water and then I let the microwave run for about three minutes. That just kind of like gets any of the junk and stuff out of the microwave and makes it to where things are a lot easier to clean. This microwave, like we've been doing really good. I've been really on top of it to make sure that I don't let this get out of hand. So, um, oh my gosh, my locks are looking good from the back. I can't stop looking at this because the back of my head looks great. But <laughs> the microwave, I've been doing really good at trying to keep up with it and try to wipe it down at least once a week. And so there wasn't really much I needed to do here. By far the most daunting task for me, you can see me kind of like roll my neck right here of like, all right, let's dive in, the refrigerator. So the reason why I'm doing this reset in the first place is because of the fridge. There is so much like food, leftovers, things that we've spilled. It's just, it's a hot mess express. And I just wanted to really get a handle on what was in here, but also toss the things that we know, like why are there open cans of soda? Like what are we doing here? Um, so I really wanted to take some time to really like deep clean this. And in hindsight, I'm just like, man, I did not know what I was getting myself into. As you can see, the sun is still out when I am filming this little clip right here, but you will see it gets dark very quickly and it was just the fridge honestly was the thing that made me say like you know what bump this reset like I don't even want to clean anymore I'm over it no got all the shelves in the door all done and situated and I started taking off all of the shelves like the main shelves in the fridge and one thing I didn't do was remember the order that everything was in and so the my camera actually died so I lost the footage of this but basically I spent probably an hour trying to figure out how to put all the shelves back together because I just could not remember how it was done it was the most stressful little experience and I was just like you know what I am over it like I am over trying to create structure I'm over trying to like reset my life and I don't know if you have this feeling but I feel like this happens a lot in different areas of life where you know right when you're on the edge of the breakthrough chaos happens and it makes you feel defeated or it makes you feel like you know what I don't want to do this anymore or I'm not going to do this and I was determined, right? Like, I mean, and at the end of the day, the food had to get back in the fridge, but I was just really determined. Like, I'm not gonna let this get the best of me. I'm going to see this through. And I, at first, like I was gonna ask my husband and then I was like, you know, all these things were going on and I was like, man, I need help. But I just realized, you know what? I started this task, I can finish this task. And I know it seems like kind of small because it's just a refrigerator, but I feel like in motherhood and in this homemaking journey, there are so many things that come up that can really frustrate us and and, you know it could get the best of us as moms right and I feel like this was one of those moments that I was really just testing my own will and really just trying to kind of prevail even when things weren't quite going my way which it 
um, honestly, like it commonly things don't go my way. Um, even with me trying to say what I'm saying right now, it's not even coming out the way that I'm thinking it. And that can be frustrating, right? But at the end of the day, we are all trying our best on this journey. And I keep reminding myself of this, like anytime I'm facing something that's especially challenging. And I even teach my son, like, you know, don't say it's hard. It's just challenging you right now, you know, and that's okay. It's okay to experience challenges. It's what we do on the back end of that, that matters. But I'm gonna be honest, girlfriend, after I did that whole trying to figure out where the shelves went situation, I was over it. So I didn't even finish the kitchen. I was just like, you know what? We're gonna stop here and call it a day. We will finish the freezer and everything else tomorrow. Thank you.